Good evening. A woman from Derbyshire says cannabis has helped her fight breast cancer without resorting to chemotherapy. Linda Coxon from Willington near Derby has been using cannabis oil since shortly after her diagnosis. Her doctors were amazed to find that her tumour has indeed shrunk by two-thirds since she started taking the oil. Linda is now calling for more research on how cannabis could help fight and one day maybe cure some cancers. Gareth Owen reports. Linda Coxon takes her daily medication. This is cannabis oil, derived from the same plant used in the recreational drug. Remarkably, it appears to have helped shrink the aggressive cancerous tumour in Linda's breast to an eighth of its original size and means, for now, she can avoid chemotherapy. I hadn't known whether it would do anything at all, really, because it's untried and, and so on. Um, but to shrink by two thirds in what effectively was five weeks was just amazing. Um, and it sent me into a total spin, if I'm honest. I've had another ultrasound scan and it had shrunk by four millimetres. Um, and I've also had a CT scan which confirmed it's still shrinking. Although the oil is made from the cannabis plant, it's not hallucinogenic or addictive. It's freely available in shops. But health campaigners fear the stigma around cannabis could hold back research. We need trials of this, you know, proper trials on people to see whether it works on other cancers. Do you think that research in this has been delayed because people reacting to that word cannabis? Absolutely. Um, I'm absolutely certain it has. Cannabis is a drug and everything we read about it is illegal. And, uh, and people are frightened of it. I do think that the mood music is changing um, because it isn't just me, there are lots of people. There's also scientific evidence. Dr Wei Lu is currently researching the effect of cannabis on cancer at St George's University in London. Science backs up these cannabis-based products as having an effect in patients with cancer, especially in cancer cells. So more in information is required, more research is, is needed, and to, to really to, to lay down once and for all whether or not we can use these chemicals in, in patients. But cannabis is a long way from being an approved treatment for cancer. In a statement, Cancer Research UK warn, we don't advise taking cannabis outside of a clinical trial because it might interfere with other treatments. There's no scientific evidence from clinical trials that cannabis or chemicals found in cannabis help to treat breast cancer. But Linda remains convinced. I've started to become evangelical about it because it's being ignored and it shouldn't be. She's already taken her story to Parliament and will continue to campaign. Gareth Owen, ITV News, Derby.